It's Thursday the 25th of July. It's almost exactly a month now since my caribou bicycle was stolen on the final day of my Thankful Villages cycle tour. It was on the train journey home from Manchester Piccadilly to Bristol Parkway. More specifically, it was either one of the first two stops at Stockport or Macclesfield. And I have to say, that experience really hurt at the time. It was quite painful being a victim of crime. And then I was just numb for days afterwards. But I quickly sort of got over it, really. And let me just briefly explain why. Although I'm a serious cyclist, I've never particularly liked bicycles that much. I tell people that and I can see they, they're not quite sure what I mean or even don't believe me. I really don't like bikes that much. As long as it fits, as long as it's comfortable, it's where it takes me, it's not what it is. So it's very easy to get over it. At the end of the day, it's just a pile of metal tubes, really, isn't it? Rubber and some plastic. You know, you can replace a possession, you can't replace a human life. So that's how I rationalised it. I did know I'd need a replacement and... Some very kind offers on YouTube and Facebook. You know, people offered me bikes that they no longer used anymore. And one person donated me a really top-of-the-range frame and lots of components, wheels, saddles, rims, everything, um, brakes. And I accepted that. But when I half built it up, I got the wheels and some transmission in, I just realised it was going to be too big for me. Not so much the standover height, it was the reach. I just, there's nothing I could really do to bring the handlebars back. So we discussed it, and rather than go to the expense of returning it to him, we've, without virtue sitting it, it's gone to a good home. And so I bought this. I bought it online, had it delivered to Avon Valley Cycery underneath Bath Spa Railway Station. Very, very helpful in there. Told them I'd want some mud guards, some racks on it, and they said, bring it back in six weeks' time. They'll do a six week service for nothing. And if I buy the racks and the mud guards off them, they'll fit it for nothing. And they've offered me good prices as well because it'll save me buying something. I'm not 100% sure of the size because things are so complicated now when it comes to bike wheel sizes. So they'll know exactly what to fit. It'll be fitted by a professional mechanic. It's like a no-brainer really, isn't it? In the meantime, I've just put an old saddle bag on just for the next few weeks until the rack gets fitted. And one of the saddles I was donated, as far as I'm concerned, that's top of the range in, in bicycle comfort, a Brooks B17 leather saddle. And I've put my own pedals on as well. So it's ready to go off for an adventure locally. And then I'll be taking it off on a camping tour once I get the mud guides in the rack. Going to head home shortly. But before I do, I just wanted to notify people of some that I became aware of today actually two separate people told me and that was a lady had her bicycle stolen on a train from guess where Manchester down to Reading I think it was or Basingstoke somewhere like that and she's gutted by it as I was at the time and when I looked at the photographs it's almost exactly the same as my bike so there's clearly a market for it and I said to the police I don't think it is an opportunistic theft I don't know why, just my gut feeling said it wasn't opportunistic and now I'm pretty much sure it wasn't because almost exactly the same bike has been stolen on a train starting at the same place. So I would just say to people, if you're taking your bikes on trains, please, please be aware that they are starting to be stolen on trains. Anyway, with that in mind, I'm going to head home and hopefully within a month that will be going camping and I'll be going with it.